I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Hey, darling. What's up you guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a clothing haul for me. A mommy, not not just mommy, but like a human being, a woman clothing haul. Anyway, I have not done one of these on my channel in so long. I think I've only ever done a couple and they were mostly Amazon, but I figured I would treat myself to a bunch of clothing um, for myself. Now, it's not gonna be all kinds of like glamorous clothing. There's, um, as I'm currently in like a sweatsuit, um, some of it's comfy, some of it's from Amazon, red dress, pink lily. Um, I have a couple of accessories as well. So I will have everything linked down in the description box below as well as my sizing on it. Um, and my thoughts on that because I might not be able to remember while I'm showing you give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy clothing hauls and hauls like these um, But yeah, I know I haven't done one on my channel for myself in a hot minute So I figured I would make myself feel good and grab some clothing for myself. Just know that this is going on in the background Sydney's watching a movie um, And I pushed all of her toys to the other side of the room so that hopefully you can't see them so you know um again i will have everything linked down in the description box below as well as sizing and then um i will tell you some of the things came within like two days and then some of the things came within two weeks enough chit chatting let's jump into this video so i decided to jump on the bandwagon with a whole tie-dye trend i know it's been a trend for several months i've just never purchased myself clothing so <laughs> this is what i purchased um is this really cute lounge set this top and these bottoms come separately, but they are a matching, um, they can be a matching set. Love the fact that it is a watercolor tie-dye. It's got the light greens, light pinks, a little bit of the coral, like orange. Love the watercolor tie-dye right now. And then the top is a hoodie and it has these drawstrings. And then the neckline on the hoodie is a raw hem. Love that. And then these joggers, hopefully you guys can see them decently but these joggers are um, a skinny ankle skinny leg and they do have pockets love they have to have pockets in my opinion like they just i don't know i feel like i don't know what to do with my hands if i don't have pockets but they just make them so much more comfortable and then um this is the back no pockets or anything for reference i am 5'2 i have no idea how much i weigh i'm gonna say like 130 ish I haven't weighed myself in three years, um, not since I gave birth, but I'm assuming that is pretty much, I don't know, it's like where I was at when I gave birth and I'm pretty much the same. Um, so yeah, this is the first pair of sunglasses that I got. These are Key Australia and they are from Red Dress, Red Dress Boutique. I have basically only been wearing my Amazon sunglasses for the last I don't know like year basically because all of my other sunglasses have been bent and broken I absolutely love these and I love the fact that they are gold rim gold framed and they have a tiny bit of a fade going on not as much as the high keys but they do have a tiny bit of a fade going on um, they are a little bit bigger on the face obviously and then they are pretty big I don't know if I have a small head. I think a lot of people have these problems because they came out with a bunch of minis, um, but they are a tiny bit wider. They don't fall off my face, um, but they aren't like tight or snug or anything like that. This is the next pair of sunglasses that I picked up. These are an aviator style, um, but they are a little bit different because they have a clear frame, but then gold around it. Sorry if my ring light is <laughs> distracting. It's just the sun has gone behind clouds and it, I needed this for lighting. Um, but yeah, they have the gold frame and then like a clear kind of lens around the frame themselves, if you can see. But they are a little bit bigger, so I'm not sure how I feel on my face in particular. But these are them. What do you guys think? I almost feel like either my ears are crooked or all my sunglasses are crooked. I'm pretty sure my ears are crooked because that situation's happening. But you guys will have to let me know what you think of these sunglasses down below. Do I keep them? Do I send them back? What do I do? The next thing that I picked up was this pair of pajamas. And I know that I did get them off of Amazon. 
I definitely needed some new summertime pajamas and these are so cute. They come in all kinds of different patterns and colors and I think tie-dye, like they come in all kinds of different styles um, if you guys are interested. But these are so comfortable, absolutely nothing wrong with them, love them. The shorts are not too short. Um, for me to be like filming or lounging around the house or going outside and my neighbor seeing me type of a thing. But yeah, they are just um, this tank top, kind of like a crew neck tank top though. I didn't know how I would feel about that, but it's really comfortable, nothing wrong with it. And then this is a drawstring and it actually works I know I always want to know, like, does the drawstring work or not? It does actually work for these. And then there is this little ruffle detail on the bottom of the um, shorts. But in my opinion, they are, again, a good length and really comfy, cozy. So. Next item is this so cute sundress. It is so cute and I love it. I've been dying to wear it <laughs> to show you guys. Um, this was from Red Dress and these are one of the things like Red Dress shipped like the very same day that I ordered or the next day. I think it was the same day. And um, then I got two day shipping so <laughs> the Red Dress can arrive to you so fast. It's this really pretty sage color and it has all of these little like ruffle kind of tears to it. It's so flattering you guys. Like when I tell you it's flattering, I mean it's flattering. I feel like it just I don't know, it's like nice and loose and flowy it's and it kind of hugs you in all the right places. It's beautiful. Just like keep it on. You Thank keep, you, babe. Can you keep it on so, so we can like it? Keep it on so we can like it. Aww. Thank you, honey. It does, okay, so I'm not wearing the right bra for it because I was too lazy to go change that much, um, but it is a thinner strap. So I think that you could get away with um, a strapless bra. 100% it would work, a strapless bra would work. Um, but I'm just wearing like a nude regular bra. Anyway, so it's a nice deep V. It shows off a little bit of cleavage, but not too much. And then these straps are adjustable. That's the best part in my opinion. The fact that the straps are adjustable is amazing. It's a perfect length on me. Again, I am 5'2 and it hits just above the knee um, on me. Loose and flowy. And then it does have the buttons all the way kind of down um, to your bum. So. You can pair it with a little like sun hat, straw hat if you like. It's so cute with a little denim jacket on, like all kinds of different ways to wear um, a sundress like this. You can wear it to church, make it dressy, you can make it a little bit more casual. It's not like super dressy and it's not super casual either. So I'm really going to need your opinion on this one. Um, my brother is getting married in August, so just a couple of months here and or not even two months oh my goodness and i thought that i could get this for um his wedding it comes in a lot of different colors and actually a couple of different styles too as far as sleeves and not sleeves go um so i figured this would be like a wedding appropriate outfit but you have to tell me i don't know like i feel like when i'm is it flattering it feels like the fabric's a little bit loose right in this region right in this region but yet it's tight on the booty so i don't know um it's a really really pretty dress and i've seen a bunch of influencers wearing it and that is why i picked it up for the wedding um it does have the lace um sleeves and then on all over lace detailing it does have this like a little midriff section that is just lace um, which I don't really know why. I don't really know. So I'm just wondering, is it too matronly for me? Is it okay? Um, the back zips all the way up the back and it does have a little slit right here. Um, I don't know. What do you guys think? I'm not sure if it will focus on them, but I just picked up these two bracelets from the styled collection and they are so pretty. They have like the, um, gold beads. They're almost like little square beads all around them. If you can even see, oh my gosh. I don't know if I can get this to focus, but they are so cute. They are stretchy. Um, when I first put them on, they were like uh, pulling the hairs just a tiny bit, but because I'm not used to wearing bracelets or stretchy bracelets. I do have a few different um, necklaces from them and I love everything from there. Um, they do take a little bit to ship though, in my opinion. I don't know if it's because these were pre-order or just in general, but these were the ones that took like a couple of weeks to get to me. But I wanna snag a wrap bracelet and maybe a couple more of these. I've just been way more into jewelry lately and I had to pick those up because I love like seeing all the girls with all their like gold stacked beaded bracelets. Some of them are really expensive though. They're like 30 bucks, but I just picked these up because they were really, really cheap, but cute. Cheap, but really cute, I think. Um, moving on to a couple 
more casual items this is so soft you guys it's one of the those materials that's like a really soft stretchy kind of a jersey cotton i don't i don't even know what it is but it's super stretchy and soft and cozy and i love it i just tied it in a knot um, and you can obviously untie it this is a length for reference it's quite longer so you can totally tie it in a knot you can do the um, front tuck situation and it does come and kind of cover your bum you guys i'm gonna live in this thing because it is so comfy cozy and i just love the pink and blue like bright fluorescent tie-dye um this is definitely a must-have staple um if you're gonna go for like mom but you want to be kind of trendy comfy but look cute yeah totally grab it <laughs> grab more of these tie-dyes i have another tie-dye t-shirt here this one's more of a pastel tie-dye and it's a little bit more cropped I have it tucked in, but it's not like super high cropped, but it definitely is like wear it with high waisted jeans type of a cropped. And I love the fact that it has this raw hem that's kind of rolled a little bit. Um, I'll try to show you a close up, but I love this t-shirt. I've actually worn this a couple of times before the holidays. I could not resist. I just love the um, watercolor tie dye. I actually love all tie dye. Neutral tie dye, bright tie dye, watercolor tie dye anything tie-dye right now loving that and this one's more of um it has all kinds of different colors again with the tie-dye things they're all hand done so a lot of them are gonna you know be a little variation when you get it yourself in person it can be a little bit of a variation on tie-dye just because it is um, all kind of hand done but this is what the hem looks like and then this one does have a pocket i forgot to mention too so it has a little pocket with this top is the next piece and I love it, you guys. I absolutely love it. It is not a, something that I would typically just buy because I always just buy plain t-shirts and boring t-shirts to be comfy. But this is comfy, but kind of dressy, but not so dressy that you only wear it like one time in your life. You can definitely wear this with jeans. You can wear it with like white denim shorts would be so cute or regular denim shorts. And I feel like it's just so comfy. It's not like so restricting that you know, you eat like a sandwich and you wanna let your pants out. It's very flowy underneath. It has a little bit of a liner, but it's got the tiered, um, kind of a baby doll uh, style top with all of the cute polka dots. And then it does have the high crew neck and it zips all the way up in the back. Um, so I need to, need to train Sydney on how to zip and unzip me because I could not unzip and fully zip the red dress and then this one too I'm like having issues with but I just love this one so much and then what I what I love also about it is that you don't have to wear some like bra specialty bra or anything I'm just wearing my regular t-shirt bra and it doesn't show straps at all so that's why I love it and then it also doesn't show a whole lot of armpit which I you know, you can hide some armpit fat going on there. <laughs> but I just really, really like this top. So the next item is this t-shirt dress and I love it, but I will say, get your normal size. Don't feel like you have to go up a size because that's what I did. I got a medium and I'm always a small. I just got worried that I was gonna be like this tight restricting t-shirt dress when I like loose, res uh, loose, <laughs> loose t-shirt dresses. It was on sale for like 10 bucks when I got it. And I think it's originally 15, so it might usually be 15. So I purchased two of these. The first one is this charcoal beret one. Very comfortable, um, definitely one of those, I still have the tag on this one, definitely one of those dresses though that um, you, it's not like form fitting or anything. So it's kind of boxy, but to me it's comfy and I almost don't even care. You can use it as a bathing suit cover up. You can just wear it regularly. I just have this one here, but or you can also um, tie a chambray top around it or tie like any sort of flannel top around it and have it be a little bit more um, like form fitting that way and comfortable, casual. These were the outfits that I wore when I was going to Disney like every single day because it's breezy, it's comfortable. You also have like a coat on you if you're in an air conditioning place or anything like that or in the mornings, but oh, apparently this is dirty, so that's awesome. But anyway, really, really love this comfy t-shirt dress. I would just say stick with your normal size, don't go up a size, um, unless you want a super oversized look. Um, and then also I am 5'2", and I think it's just a tiny bit long on me without having this kind of tied around. 
So I might, I'm not gonna return these because they were so cheap and I've worn the other one anyway, but I might cut the hem off and see if I can like chop a couple of inches off and then stretch it and have it be that rolled raw hem. I've seen a lot of the girls on Instagram do it because I, again, I am short. So I think it's just a little bit too long for me um, without tying this around to make it like, you know, up just a tiny bit. But that's how I like to wear my t-shirt dresses with something tied around the waist anyway. And it's just so comfy, something that is very effortless to wear when I'm not feeling like putting effort into myself, but a dress is always a good option. So I was able to find the orange one. It was sitting in my dryer, so it's really wrinkled. So, so professional of me. Um, but I love this color so much. I don't think it shrunk a ton. I did dry it. I do think it may have shrunk like a half an inch. Um, in length, but really not that much and I did notice the first time I wore it it stretched out a ton So I just don't think that it shrinks enough to have to go up a size is what I, is what I'm saying basically to you I love this color. They have so many different colors too. They have striped ones and then all kinds of different colors um, On their website and I think again t-shirt dresses are just one of those like staple everyone should have a t-shirt dress and you know they're like comfy, cute, casual. You can do anything with them. The next item is this pair of shorts. I honestly don't know if I should just give them to someone or what, but I definitely ordered a medium um, and I just feel like they're a little bit tight. I'm sure they will stretch out. I'm sure they will. This is like the first time that I'm putting them on. Um, I just don't love shorts on me. I just don't love my legs. It's just the part of the body that I'm like, I would rather wear a dress than shorts. Um, but as far as like wearing them at home and being comfortable, they're fine. They don't have pockets. So I feel like they're a little bit hippie, a little hippie, like bulgy. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> this is just not one of my favorites. I really want to love them. And I think they would look so cute on you if you're like, have really amazing legs. If you're a leg person, they will look so cute on you. They are tie-dyed um, with the like pastel kind of watercolor tie-dye again. Pink, blue, and purple. I think they have a couple of different colors. I'm not positive, but they're that sweatpant material, like so comfy, super, super comfy. I just don't know about me. I just don't know. You know? Mm. The next item is this bathing suit. I'm not, I don't even know if I'm comfortable sharing this much with you, um, but it is my first one piece and I got it from Amazon. It's got the cutest little back, but I just threw on some shorts um, to just cover myself a little bit. It's got this very, very deep V, um, but it does tie in the back to kind of like cinch you in and they have all kinds of different colors. Um, this one has like a ruffle. Um, in my size, they only had like a few different colors. Um, they do have a really cute striped one that I wanna grab, but it was out of stock. So um, love this. I love the detail in the back. It crosses and then you can pull it tighter to it. I'm just having to get used to, and then clearly I'm not self tanned right here, but I'm just having to get used to the like super deep V. It's so funny because you move on to um, a one piece and you're thinking you're gonna be so much more covered and then all of a sudden I'm like oh, I'm more self-conscious in this than I am my two-piece um, but yeah I just thought it was really really pretty and then all of the girls that it was on online of course it was so flattering and I've seen a bunch of other people wearing it in the different colors and patterns and it was so flattering um, but yeah also this is a pair of shorts that I the, I have already started a return for because I just don't know. Um, again, with my legs, they're just, I just think they're a little short for me. Um, I wasn't paying attention to the inseam. They're really comfortable, but the only thing is, is they're really short. And I just, I don't think I could ever go in public <laughs> in really short shorts. But if you can, and if you like short shorts, totally. I got this pair and then I also got the same pair, but in black um, and I have started a return. I think I'm gonna go try to return them or exchange them for the four inch inseam ones. Again, I got the same pair, but in black. Um, and it's weird because I'm usually a 27 and I got these in a 27 and these were not available in a 27. So I got these in a 28 and the 27s are looser than the 28 so i think it has to do with the wash too um so it's really weird these are 28s and they're more snug um and these are 27s and they're a little bit more loose so 
I don't know if that's a thing or if I just got like a weird random pair. Um, but yeah, they're so cute. I wanted to love them. They're mom shorts, but they're not really, they're kind of booty shorts. I don't know. All right, you guys, so that is gonna do it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed seeing what I've recently purchased for clothing. Again, I think I will be returning um, the denim shorts, both the black and the regular ones, and then possibly the tie-dye shorts as well, just because I, I know myself and I'm not gonna wear them. Um, but again, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Everything is linked down in the description box below as well as the size that I was wearing. Um, so yeah. I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye. To get us through this video, I think it took Sydney four visits to the potty. One, two, three snacks. Um, and I think I've only been filming for maybe an hour and a half. And it only took me this long because I had to go find shoes and things. 